don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the BK Cop360 here. Let me tell you guys something. Engineering ain't easy, man. Within the past month and a half, I started my engineering degree, and boy, the physics is hard. The maths is hard. The, the degree in total is just hard. So I'm looking to just grind through this first semester, get rid of the pure math subjects, get rid of the pure physics subjects, and get into my major and whatnot. But as a result, I haven't really had a lot of time for YouTube because I've just been working, man. Just uni, uni, uni. And then when I'm not at uni, I'm at fucking, fucking Subway making sandwiches. But anyway, Getting to the point, we're getting straight back where we left off into the GPU game. Now, apparently, this June at Computex, AMD, and NVIDIA uh, are allegedly going to be launching Pascal and Polaris. Now, of course, uh, Pascal, let's start off with the NVIDIA side. Uh, everyone's looking forward to it. It's like a heavily modified Mac Store kind of architecture. Um, the interesting thing is, of course, I'm going to be going to I'm going to be all over the place here. Yeah, I haven't recorded in a long time. But the interesting thing is, it's alleged that Pascal is going to be using regular GDDR5 memory. Of course, we won't be seeing HBM2 just yet because HBM2, uh, it's just too expensive right now. And it's not really in high production. So... But come June time, it just won't be ready to go on a, a GM206, so not GM, GP206, uh, GP106, sorry, GPU, for example. Like, you're not going to see, like, a GTX 1060 with HBM2. It's just not going to happen. So, apparently, GP104 and GP106, so the 1080, the 1070, and, of course, the 1060 and whatnot, are going to be using regular GDDR5 memory. However, that memory is actually going to be hot clocked quite highly, sorry, at around 8 gigabits per second. So that is very, very fast GDDR5 memory. Now, of course, I don't think we're talking about GDDR5X here. I'm pretty sure we're still sticking to GDDR5 because GDDR5X memory won't be ready by June either. And of course, as I said at the start of this video, NVIDIA and AMD plan on launching or at least paper launching these GPUs at Computex. So of course, it'd have to be regular GDDR5. So continuing on, uh, we are expected to see the 1080 and the 1070 in action. Allegedly, the 1080 is going to have around 7 billion transistors. Now, to put that into perspective, the GTX 980 Ti or the GM200 GPUs, you know, Big Daddy Maxwell, they had around 8 billion transistors. So it's unlikely that this flagship, um, you know, 1080, whatever the hell is going to be called, X80, it's unlikely that it's going to outperform the 980 Ti. However, it's obviously going to outperform a 980. Um, but at the same time, we're on the Pascal, we're on a different architecture, so you don't really know. One Pascal CUDA core is not going to equal one Maxwell CUDA core, or, and it kind of like scales like that. So, I don't know, it could outperform an 980 Ti, but looking at the this raw power, I, I don't know, it's, it's tough to say. Um... Anyway, continuing on, GP106 is also coming, so you know, the cut down, you know, the 1060, uh, 1060 Ti if they come out with one, but we haven't taken the Ti card in a very, very long time, but if we do see a 1060 or 1060 Ti, it's going to be based on GP106, um, I don't know how much VRAM it's going to have, we're going to have 2 to 4 gigs, I expect the eight, uh, the 1080, sorry, and the 1070 to have around 8 gigs of v uh, VRAM, um, it's going to be at least four. I mean, if they don't have at least four, that's kind of problematic. I mean, surely they would have learned by now that they need probably around four gigs of VRAM for a high-end GPU. So expect to see that from NVIDIA. That should be good. Um, you know, it's going to be FinFET based. Uh, it's going to have increased power efficiency. We are seeing um, a, a node shrink. We're going from tw what, 28 nanometers to 14 nanometers or 16. Sorry, it might be 16 of TSMC but you know irrespective of that we've completely cut off 20 nanometers because TMC couldn't deliver and we're now down to 14 slash 16 so that should be good on the Nvidia side expect to see quite a big performance leap I mean compared to what we saw from Kepler to Maxwell there should be a bigger gap I mean we are seeing you know once again that shrink from 28 nanometers down to 14 slash 16 and yeah that should be good now moving over to the AMD side the same rumors going on the 490 the 490x are apparently going to be launching or at least paper launching at june or uh, in june sorry at computex now of course the 490 and the 490x are based on polaris 10. now polaris 10 the interesting is was rumored uh the flagship at least to have only 2304 stream processors now that is not a lot of sps compared to say 
Fiji. Fiji, uh, the Fury X had 4,096. I believe the Hawaii frag, uh, flagship, the 290X, or, you know, 390X, had 2,816 stream processors. So for this, uh, or at least the 290X, uh, not the 290X, sorry, the 490X, to have only 2,304, um, I'm not really sure about that. That rumor might be a bit false. Uh, unless, of course, Polaris 10 is just insane. Um, the whole Polaris architecture is really, really good. And you get a massive improvement in terms of, you know, um, how strong each stream processor is. Now, of course, what else does this mean? It means that the 490 and the 490X won't be rebrands of Fiji. Fiji is not being uh, cut down to the 490 card, if that makes sense. Because as uh, of right now, you've got the Fury card, so Fiji. And then you have... But the 390X and the 390, which is Hawaii, which is from 2013, close to three years old now. Um, but yeah, 490, 490X, apparently, Polaris 10, their own thing, whole new architecture. Um, does that mean Fiji is going to be cut down to the 480X cards? Unlikely. I mean, could you imagine a Fury X as a 480 card or a 480X card? That would make the entire series very, very powerful. So that's kind of unlikely. What I'm thinking is the 490 and the 490X are going to perform slightly worse than Fiji. And then we're going to have Fiji stay where it is. And then when Vega 10 comes out, which is supposedly going to have 4,096 stream processors, then that is going to replace Fiji and the Fury R series. Now, of course, this is all speculation. It's all rumors. We actually don't know. But we're going to have to wait and see, man. So look, guys, I really... Uh, thank you guys for watching these videos. Thank you for sticking with me, man. Because I just... It's hard to just upload all the time, man. I've got... There's so many different variables. So many different factors that... Um affect me or impact on my uh, uploading of YouTube videos. So it's tough for me to do it all the time. But when I do do it, when I find the time to do it, when I think I can deliver a good video, I do do it. And I hope this video was good. I hope it was informative. And I really hope it was entertaining because that's who I am. I'm an entertainer. I bring these videos to, go, uh, to you guys, not just to inform you, but to entertain you because I'm a funny guy or I think I'm a funny guy. And I just like making people happy. So look guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Oh, fuck, I said that twice. I hope you enjoyed. And look, the big K, we'll see you later. I'm going to make another video right now, hopefully, and just get it uploaded, man. I'm just going to try and make, do as much as I can right now while I feel like it. So thank you guys for watching. See ya later. That was really, really awkward.